The Broomstick Pistol, also known as the Mauser C96, or the Red 9, uh, this was a pistol added with the historical pack. And looking at the mods, actually, I do have a... Let me remove that for a second. Yeah, so taking a look at the stats, um, this weapon looks very similar to a Sig 40 when it's modded for damage. So it shares similar damage, accuracy, concealment, rate of fire, ammo. Uh, you know, you're far off, it really doesn't matter. So it's going to function very similar to that. Currently, the only mod I have on it is the high capacity mag. And as you saw earlier, I actually had a monolith suppressor. So if we take a look at the stats now, 46 damage, still very good. And actually on Death Wish, I've noticed that it doesn't really matter. The difference between 50 damage and 46 makes very little or no difference. Uh, it still takes about the same amount of shots to kill the weaker guys. You know, a green takes like one shot, camo guy takes two, and a tan guy takes four with uh, the suppressor on and off. So, in that regard, I actually think this handgun is a very nice stealth weapon. You know, you, you don't really give up too much, uh... You don't really give up too much for, for having it. You can bring it along with you in a stealth mission, and if you fuck up, you want to go loud, you can still be very handy and defend yourself. Uh, so let's actually talk a little bit more about this pistol, because I've actually seen quite a bit of hate on it. Um, and, uh, well... <laughs> Let's, let's just go over it first. This weapon and the SIG-40 are kind of, uh... They're in that uncanny valley now where they don't really have too much... Too many people using it because ever since the buff to Gunslinger, it has made the weaker pistols such as the Interceptor, the Gruber, it has made them very good. You know, they've gotten a lot more damage. Uh, it basically reduces how many shots it takes to kill the weaker guys. And they still have all the, you know, the best things about them. They still have a large ammo pool, they still have the good accuracy, good stability, and everything else. Uh, so one of the things that sucks about these, or so people say, is that uh, they don't really have, like, they don't reach these damage thresholds while keeping, you know, the very nice ammo pool. So... They, they, you know, they have, the diff like I said, the difference between 46 damage and 50 damage is pretty negligible. And if you want to mod this for damage, uh, from 50 to 55, I believe it is. Yeah, it, it's still, it's still not too noticeable unless you're, like, fighting specials. Um, so, it, you know, it's, it's whatever. I mean, you know, it, right now, one of the pistols that a lot of people are, are jizzing over is the Chimato Custom. Because it can reach that 46 damage, it does have a lot of ammo. Although you do give up a lot of accuracy, because this thing is highly inaccurate. Um, although to those people, what I say is they're no fun. You know, these are the people that roll with a car four and a locomotive and a HE round street sweeper, and they gotta go with their perfect setups, their master forcer, their tech forcer. You know, there's nothing else they can use in life. I've used this, the broomstick, with the monolith quite a few times actually on death wish and i do not feel hindered at all it feels very fun to use uh you know the one downside i think being a very slow reload but we'll get into that later so i still think it's a very good weapon that's just me though you know a lot of people say eh, it doesn't yeah, it's not good it's so bad it's the worst edition eh. all the other weapons are a side grade or an upgrade this one sucks those people are no fun so enough talk about it We've seen the stats, let's see it in action. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. No gameplay yet. Uh, I forgot to talk about one thing. Uh, this handgun, I do not recommend having the slide and the stock on it. So let's take off this for a second. And so as you can see, 50 damage, 13 accuracy, 21 stability. When I put this on and this on, makes the weapon very accurate and very stable. 21 accuracy, 28 stability. However, you do lose a lot of damage. I only have 41. Uh, let's compare this to an existing weapon, the Gruber. Very similar stats. However, the Gruber has double the ammo. So I do not recommend using the broomstick in this fashion. I would just stick with uh, leaving the slide and the stock off. You get that extra damage. It's very helpful. Also, uh, if it wasn't apparent enough, I do have the the pistol skills, you know, I have Gunslinger and such. I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that, because, yeah, the other the other weapons uh, that we've talked about actually have not needed skills to be, you know, where they are. This one does, though. It does need skills. So, yeah. 
Uh, now into the gameplay. Alrighty, so... This is a uh, gold bank heist, and it's a it's a it's a heist that most people normally stealth. But you never know; maybe something goes wrong and you fucked up your stealth. Well, it's a good thing you have a good secondary, right? So the broomstick, like like I said, I like it because it's a decent stealth pistol. It's not half bad, and uh, it can keep you pretty well, pretty well stocked for. You know, you can handle yourself. You're not you're not going to do too badly. It's not super weak like a like you know, if you mod like a Bernetti 9 with the size doesn't matter silencer and such. Concealment is overall not that great for it. Uh with this current setup I have, I have the modded grenade launcher and I also have a 32 concealment melee. Um and I get like 19 visibility, which is okay. Uh not Anything 20 and under is usually good enough visibility to stealth most anything. You know, you, I, I've done a framing frame, a few framing frames, a few big oils, stuff like that in 20. 20 is a good number. Uh, going any higher, though, stealth gets a little bit difficult. So I would not recommend that. So yeah, I mean, you know, I, I like I like having this as a backup, and having it loud is also uh, pretty nice too. Like I said, it, the difference between the loud and the stealth version isn't too big. Like I, it's not very noticeable when you do a stealth mission, or when you kill specials. But you know, it's still handy to have, of course. And bank is gonna take a while for people to start coming. There's no music. I don't know why. It's okay. Let's go stab some papers. Oh, we should probably tie people. That'll make them come even slower, though. Well, that's alright. Oop, sit down. Yeah, let's let's drop some equipment for people. First aid kit. Get your band-aid here. Perfect. I placed the first aid kit here. And where else should we do it? Follow me. See, this one I can reach from Follow here. Uh, let's put Follow one in me. here. This is actually a good spot to hide in. Eh. Okay, fine. Let's put it on the table. There we go. That's Death Wish for you, drunk cactus. Death Wish in a goddamn nutshell. Yeah, I saw that weak cop and I got scared. Them weak cops are scary stuff. Oh, that's a green guy. One shot. If I see a camel guy, should be two shots. One. Two. Three. Should be two. Maybe it is three. Then again, my aim is so bad right now. Wow. Okay, you know what? Forget it. I like this spot. I get to shoot the people that kind of hole up right here when they come in. Oh boy. Nice, only five shots to kill a cloaker. Not too bad. Get the fuck up. Drop it. But yeah, I mean, like, I, I I tried to discuss some of the damage numbers and stuff, but I'm not too well versed in you know how many number, how many uh, how many bullets kills what with what damage. And it's because you don't really have to worry about it so much. You know, there's there's more. Well, I'm not gonna use my grenade launcher yet. There's a lot more to how a weapon functions than just the, the numbers, you know? It's also how you use it, how much you like it. Of course, if you like a weapon more than others, you're, you're gonna do better with it. It's just how it is. Like, I know I love the cross kills, and I, I use them a lot, but, you know, statistically, there's no reason to use the cross kills over the SIG-40 most of the time. Doesn't mean I don't like it, doesn't mean it's not a, ba it's not a good weapon. It's still a good weapon, for me. <laughs> I 
But yeah, uh, this is a good uh, pseudo stealth weapon. Especially since uh, what I was talking about, the damage, actually, this was without, uh, you know, Silent Killer. Sometimes I roll with Silent Killer builds with my pistols because I like the way they handle. Oh, well. You wanna. You wanna. You wanna get out of the ceiling? I'm just gonna leave him be. <laughs> uh, but yeah, those were the numbers I gave without Silent Killer. You know, with Silent Killer, your pistols, of course, with silencers will be doing pretty well. But you need to have a lot of ghost points. And what I love about this pistol is that you don't need those ghost points to make a silenced Mauser do really well. Is he still up there? He's probably still up there. I can still hear him. Alright. So yeah, just a very quick show off of this pistol. Like I said, it functions very similarly to the Sig 40. A little bit higher base damage, so you can put on a suppressor and still do very well. There's a cloaker outside of this door. Pow! Them snipers be scary. Take that, thank you very much. Oh. I was gonna say, if I can snipe him through that, that'd be pretty cool. But I don't think I didn't have the sniper. Nailed the taser. Yeah, so the bit. Ooh. Oh, weak cops. Weak cops. Yeah, that just happened. <laughs> it looks like he had Pistol Messiah. Well, we almost made it out. What? The point still stands that this handgun is still pretty good. I do enjoy using it, and it's not terribly bad when bringing on Death Wish. Uh, the one downside, as you've noticed, is that it has a very slow reload. Reloading it is painfully slow, even with Gunslinger. Without it, it's even worse. So, that's the one downside of it. I do enjoy the weapon. It's good. So yeah, for those like, you know, if you're doing like a fire starter pro and you accidentally fuck up like day two or day three or well, framing frame is a bit more of a stretch because framing frame pro is incredibly difficult day three, but you know, day one, it's it's doable should you bring a weapon like this. So I like the Mauser. It's not half bad. Fine wood. Alrighty, and that was the last one that completes uh, me going over all of these new DLC weapons. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, got some builds coming up, so be on the lookout for that.